Hello YouTube, uh, thank you for watching Nilo Tech Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the flashing question mark in your MacBook Pro. So, so the main two reasons for this problem, um, uh, one, one of the reasons is uh, if you have a damage uh, or a bad uh, internal hard drive. And the second reason is because the cable that is attached to your um, uh, internal hard drive is damaged as well which is the the data cable and so you will see a question mark so and nothing below that so if you are trying to restore the operating system the mac os uh, with the flash drive or by using a cd or with and you are really trying to uh, format this and nothing happens so it's because the hard drive is damaged or the cable then uh, the data cable that is attached to your internal hard drive is damaged so i will show you how i fix this problem so maybe um if you just restore the os it can help to fix this issue but it it didn't work for me so i'm gonna show you how i fix it so first i'm gonna remove all these uh, 10 uh screws that are on, on the back of the computer First, you need to open them. I mean, you need to remove them from the back cover just to have access to your internal hard drive. So as you can see, uh, these last three screws are longer, so are bigger inside, so uh, it won't be uh, hard to mix them. So you can see this one is longer and the rest are shorter. So you, 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 you won't have any problems trying to find the right location for each screw. Uh, sorry about the camera uh, focusing. So I had it in uh, auto mode, auto focus mode. So that's what it happens. So I forgot to put it in manual mode. So okay, so you just need to open the bad cover. so I'm gonna show you the the internal hard drive so I have an SSD in this case and as you can see this is a flexible cable then it can be damaged so that's the data cable so this one as you can see uh, it makes a very sharp bend close to the optical drive and the hard drive so plus this cable has a lot of uh, copper traces very thin copper traces and it's very easy to damage them or break them so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the internal hard drive so first uh, you need to remove the, um, the two screws from the bracket they are holding the hardware in place so you need to remove the bracket okay the first bracket is off so then you need to remove the other two screws for the other bracket so this one sorry for the camera focus okay so so when you have access to the hard drive you can unplug the data cable it's okay so now the hard drive is free so you can start um, removing the two screws that are holding the flexible cable data cable so it's, this is one and two so you need to remove these two screws 
So these two screws are holding the cable in place plus they are grounding the cable as well. This screw was giving me a little bit of trouble, but now it's off. So now you can start peeling off the uh, con not conducted by BHP tape. Then it's holding the cable. So now to, what you can do is just pull slowly the bracket. Okay. So okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you the box uh, that I received with the new cable, with the new data cable. I purchased it online. So I can let me open it. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the the web store where I purchased it and how much I pay for it. So okay, so this is the web store that I purchased it. So it's the AliExpress and this is the cable. So you just need to specify the model number for your Mac computer, and they will give you the uh, the right um, cable. So I paid like twenty eight dollars for the complete cable assembly, and I saw the reviews, and most of the people they were given like five stars, with good reviews for the website. It's AliExpress.com, plus they have a free shipping, which is even better deal. So I only paid twenty eight dollars for the complete cable assembly and I receive it after two weeks I will say because they ship it from China so okay so you can see they, they ship it from, from Shenzhen China so it takes like two weeks two weeks I live in California so it takes like two weeks so okay so let me open the box which now I'm gonna show you the package So it's a very simple um, packaging. At least they protect it with the foam, Mr. Foam. So I purchased the cable with the with the plastic bracket. So you can see it's the bracket with the two orange um, square holes. So they they sell the cable without the bracket for I believe is uh, five dollars less, but I did purchase it with the bracket because five dollars is not uh, a lot of money to save. Plus, if you can let's say you damage the cable, so it will cost more. Okay, but you can you have the option to purchase the cable without the bracket, so they sell it. Uh, cheaper than the complete assembly cable assembly so you can see they they have the, the same gold plated holes for grounding purposes so the old cable the new cable they, they have the gold plated holes so it's, it's about the same quality different part number but I will say it's the same quality cable as the original So now, so I'm gonna install the the cable, the, the new cable, data cable. So sorry for the focus again. So it's okay. So now more, it's more in focus. So it's the other way. So okay. So let me insert the bracket first. We get the right orientation for the bracket. Okay, so it's all the way in. So it fits perfectly the new cable. Let 
inside this screw. So one thing that I noticed for this new cable, so they, um, well, they don't come with the um, BHP or adhesive uh, to hold the cable in place, but I will use a um, uh, captain tape or uh, sketch tape to hold the the thinner piece of the cable in place. So I uh, in this area, I'm gonna use like a sketch tape to hold it in place. So I'm going to uh, ground the cable with the two screws. So I would recommend to use a magnetized uh, screwdriver for these tiny uh, screws. So as you can see the cable makes a lot of uh, sharp ends. As I said before, um, these uh, flexible cables has a lot of copper traces, very tiny copper traces. And when the cables make like sharp ends, like for instance in this area, so the cable can break, um, the traces can break very easy. Okay, so I'm installing the cable, so I'm plugging the cable first to the, uh, to the motherboard. And then I'm going to tie the, the cable, I'm going to ground the cable to the main chassis. Do you see how tricky it is to insert the, the small screw in the hole? So that's why I'm recommending to use a magnetized uh, screwdriver. Okay, so it's is ready I think. You can put another piece of captain tape on top of the optical drive just to keep it firm um flat. But I I'm gonna use a sketch tape for the thinner piece of the flexible cable because the hard drive is going on top of it. So I don't wanna smash it or damage it. So I'm going to put a piece of uh, sketch tape. Okay, so it's done. So as you can see, it's very flat. So now you can install the hard drive. Okay, now it fits perfectly, so now you can put the bracket back on. Sorry again for the camera focus, I forgot to to change it to manual mode. I hope that this is not bothering you too much. Okay, so it's finished. So I'm gonna put the back cover, but I don't gonna screw it down. So I'm just gonna do like a quick, uh, quick test. So I'm gonna turn on the computer just to see if the cable, the new cable, is working perfectly, or if I still getting the uh, blinking question mark. So let me power off. Move the camera a little bit. So there is the Apple logo. So if if the cable is working perfectly, perfectly, I will see the my desktop. So uh, so this is not related to the cable. This is a NTFS 3G uh, software that I had. So I I need to work more on this. So I need to delete it basically. So, well, so 
So it's taking a while because uh, I have an SSD, so it should be very fast. The boot up time should be very, very fast. Okay, so now I have the, I can see my desktop. So as you can see, it works. So the problem wasn't um, the OS, it was the, it wasn't the OS, it wasn't the internal hard drive. The main problem for, uh, for me was uh, the data cable. So it was damaged. So it was a quick fix. So I only paid twenty eight dollars with the uh, with shipping and handling. So they shipped the cable from China. So this is a bad cable. So that was the main problem for me. So thank you for watching.